Okay, so here we are on Arnhem Checkpoint, which has been remastered for this tournament. Look at this, it's dark, it's raining, it's... wow. What a complete rework of the map. <laughs> Rifle squad ready for action. Looks completely different. What do you think of it? You know what, Stormless? There's no two better casters in the world to cast this, because we live in England. <laughs> so we are right at home in this setting. It's sure. rainy, it's ready drizzly. Be I love it. <laughs> Feels like home to me. So this is a big matchup. We've got Nagano here. He's the winner. Uh, one of the 2v2 teams from the Clan Clash that we saw a couple of weeks ago. And we've got Lovenest, who's a huge player. And look at this. Both players have gone straight in with their Doctrine choices. Uh, we have got Rifle Company from Nagano and Breakthrough Doctrine uh, from Lovenest. So just straight in on, you know, they're going in with some preset strategies here, you know, they're going to go in hard with whatever they're doing, you know, on that kind of build, and look at this, Love Nest is so far up the map already, <laughs> he's already putting wire down on the strategic point of his opponent. <laughs> Just to let you know, AE, you're muted. Ah, yep. <laughs> Might want to, uh, Make sure that you don't mute yourself consistently. Ah, uh, I just found out that space is the mute Rifle shortcut Rifle. in um, st Skype, and it's also my one of the most commonly used things in Co for me because it jumps to the least recent activity. <laughs> How great! Bad news for you. So yeah, straight away, um, Love Nest has been ultra aggressive, but that that's tournament play for you. You you know you're always looking to get a knockout punch in the early play in a tournament. Yeah, definitely. One of the things as well, like you see with uh, Loveness and the OKW strategy there, he's got the Stern Pioneers, he's rushing them straight forward, uh, you know, trying to get uh, these these green cover, sorry, the barbed wire positions up, like all over the green cover points in the map, which is really, really nice. You can see him ghost wiring there as well, just to make sure that there's absolutely nothing that Nagano can take advantage of for green cover in the early stages of the game. And by being so forward, like he's already pulled a lot of Nagano's attention onto this center point of the map, and he's very, very easily able to uh, capture the left-hand side for himself and secure, uh, secure himself fuel in the early game. Well, the clock is ticking because he's gonna have to keep compete against M2 Flamethrower equipped rifleman in you know about seven to eight minutes into the game so this guy's gonna have to really push his advantage whilst he's got it I don't think he'll struggle that much I mean let's see what he's gone so far the battle grouper is up very very early so he's gone three volts straight into the battle grouper uh, it's a pretty common build from the last patch actually I don't think we're gonna be seeing the LEIG I'm gonna be surprised it's, it's had a considerable uh, nerf to it in terms of its micro uh, but I, I guess that probably wouldn't affect players like Navas because you'd probably still be able to micro it in the same way you know, micro it to, to play in the same efficiencies it had in the previous However, patch. when the shots do land, they will have less suppression, and also the firing arc of the shots has to be a lot t uh, higher. It can't be below 35 degrees, so it is it has been nerfed in multiple ways. Yeah, I'll be interested to see what he does decide to go for for that. Then um, I'm totally expecting Panzer Fusiliers to come out. Uh, maybe even seeing the first uh, 90 munitions spent on the G43 upgrades to kind of help them uh, be a little more potent against the uh, rifleman here. This is uh, really, really nice. Nagano is clearly struggling here. And the Loveness has the battle grouper up for constant reinforcements on uh, on his side. Absolutely. And, uh, um, it's, it is on. all, if you look at the attack map, it is all being focused around the battle grouper. That is Loveness area of land for sure. Nagano does have the entirety of the right. Very, very nice. Just a solid OKW strategy here. Not not pushing out too far. He's got the battle grouper directly in the middle of two VPs and the fuel. Uh, very, very easy for him to control all of the points he needs. And at the same time, he's actually looking to cut the supply of the, uh, you know, by the strategic points there. You can see him doing it now in the uh, southern area of the map. He's probably going to branch off to the right hand strategic point from that as well to cut off all the fuel for Nagano. So uh, it's a pretty massive hit for Nagano in the early stages of the game, really. Um, at the moment, he's just got his munitions cut off. You are right, there are two cut off points on Arnhem checkpoints, so he would, would have had to have, um, you know, flanked around the right. Just in time, he has got the barred up lieutenant on the field to push away that stun pioneer back into the church. And here comes the hot the M20 utility gun. 
I just, I'm, I'm still loving how this map looks at, at night time, you know, with the whole Halloween vibe. <laughs> Stone Pioneers in a tricky spot of danger there. They have got one squad, the M20 is focusing on them. Yeah, it doesn't look like they've got anything to do with that M20 there, though. The Raketon's on the field, but uh, whereabouts is it at the moment? It's just come on from the base, so M20's going to enjoy a little window where it's going to completely eat through these Volks Grenadiers for the time being, and Nagano's taking this opportunity to capture the strategic point on the left and uh, deny the fuel to Love Ness. It's going to be quite a big loss for him. What do you think? Oh, yeah, as I say, Nagano is a very aggressive player. Um, he's playing very well multitasking his rifleman quite well at the moment. He's got them centered in the middle behind the green cover and the M20 also helping out there. So we haven't had any losses so far, have we? No, the closest, the, the most manpower bleed we've seen is the Stern Pioneers go down to one model. They, they are quite costly. And um, the early game for OKW pretty much is dominated by how your Stern Pioneers perform, I've, I've found. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, they've got the advantage of the Lieutenant out now, so the armies are pretty balanced in terms of that, like, having that DPS unit on the field. Nice shot from the Rocket in there, targets the M20. It's going to force Nagano to retreat that pretty quickly. Fortunately, uh, the Rocket didn't have enough range to get the second shot off. And uh, Nagano is going to double cap the, the fuels now. Uh, Loveness has, hasn't been able to put anything over to that strategic point yet. And uh, capturing this fuel, giving double fuel to Nagano right now would be a massive, massive loss, especially with the Lieutenant uh, tier. You know, we can see the AA half track comfortably produced here as well, which would put a lot of pressure on uh, Loveness right now. Yeah, the AA half track is very strong. We often see uh, Red Wings rush that unit. He did actually beat Loveness with a rushed. A half track recently on Minsk I watched um, and so yeah Lovness is vulnerable to AA half track rushes. Maybe that's something he knows about and he's uh, doing it intentionally then. It, it could well be, I mean Nagano is an, an Asian player so he does have um, sometimes own difficulties watching streams of that nature but you know it doesn't stop him scouting his players and, and watching replays and live ops and such. So much uh, building engagements at the moment. Like all four buildings in the uh, around the square of Arnhem are just occupied at the moment. There's just bullets flying everywhere, left and right. One one squad in the middle is actually doing surprisingly well, taking up barrages from both sides. But uh, it's just, I mean, at the moment we haven't really seen anything in the way of you know flanks and uh, you know stuff like that. There's been a lot of just kind of heavy manpower through the center. Like, Absolutely, it reminds me of my student days up in Leeds, so many house parties, and <laughs> I'm not invited to any of them. Points. Well, hopefully they weren't throwing things from window to window like this, but uh, I know they're going to be pretty wild. This is, uh, th I would say it's going in the favour of Loveness quite strongly at the moment. He's just got so many favourable positions on the map right now, and he's got good building control in the centre, he's got the benefit of the reinforcements of the battle grouper. We are starting to see flamethrowers go up in the squads of Nagano now. Uh, oh, look at that, he takes the Stern Pioneers down, yes! And uh, what a nice look, they just, as soon as they came up on the squad there, uh, wiped that unit, Loveness did get the retreat as well, so it's like, you know, really unfortunate that he lost it then. Um, if the Love Nest is getting cut off whilst he lost the Stern Pioneer, but I'd rather, I'd rather think that Nagano has taken the lead with that uh, squad wipe right there. Yeah, I mean, well, let's see. I mean, Love Nest still has more squads on the field, so it's uh, it's not a clear win. You know, we've seen uh, I mean, Nagano has the higher, you know, close range DPS unit now. I'd call the other benefit of the flamethrower as well. So. Those kind of engagements are going to go in favour of Nagano for now. I wonder if he's going to start using that advantage and, and pushing up the field a little bit more. But uh, we still haven't seen any kind of tech come out from Loveness yet, so I, I wonder what the plan is there. We haven't got anything doctrinal that he's going to be able to use uh, other than the Yagtiga, really. So, um, what do you think his build's going to be here? Do you see Yag Panzer 4 or maybe going to Tier 4 and uh, Panther? Uh, I, I, yeah, Yag Panzer 4, man. It's just the safest option for OKW players. Uh, I, I don't expect him to hoard fuel and wait for anything too extravagant, such as the uh, the Yag Tiger or anything. Uh, no, Yag Panzer Four, all the way. There you go. Nice flank from Nagano coming around the back lines of Loveness, trying to flame out the position of green cover there for those Volks Grenadiers. Looks like the Panzer Fusiliers are going to be able to do a little bit of damage, but they are lower health. They may struggle 
to actually win this engagement. Nice grenade there! Nearly gets the squad running through that tiny little gap on the retreat. Very, very nice there. And Nagano at this point coming in with the M20, trying to clear all the buildings as well with the Flamers. Did he lose the squad then? He no, did no, not. No. They got away on one man, and good micro from Nagano. He gets the M20 out of the range of the Raketan after it hit its first shot. Um, it's, a, it's an interesting situation. It must be noted that Nagano yet again has both fuels, and he is keeping them. And he also has a, a pretty significant victory point lead. Yeah, it's looking very, very good, uh, and very, very much so in Nagano's favour right now. Would it be fair to say, Stormless, that... Uh, because I'm a Co. One fanboy, and I, I'm cheering for Nagano, and, and you're, you know, you're big on Love Nest in this game. I, I get that feeling, to be honest. I, I, I I've always been thinking Nagano might win this. I, I, I uh, don't, don't get me wrong. Like I, I love Nagano. I love his playstyle um, and everything. Love Nest. I, I have a lot of respect for the player because he's, uh, he's a good player. He's a polite player. He's not an abusive player. He's just good at the game. Um, and you know he's he's humble about it. He he's not like uh, you know some of the other types we see that throw it around in the faces and stuff. So I, I just have a lot. I like seeing Loveness win. It's it's quite gracious, and uh, they're always like very very good games. But look at this at the moment. There's so much going on. There's things all over the map right now. This this central uh, engagement's going on here. It's insane. Um, Loveness is, is desperately trying to hold off the Flamers whilst occupying building control and you know we've got the captain in the building from Nagano just making sure that any you know vehicles that come into that center area are going to be kind of put off by the fact that bazookas are firing out of here. There's really nothing that Loveness is prepared to do to clear these buildings out because Incendiary is you know he's, they're not going to be that effective he can just get out of the building and, and walk off so in a, th a weird position for him, I, I, I have this feeling like Love Nest is holding back, like waiting for something, waiting for one unit that may change the course of this game. He has, a, he has a mediocre amount of fuel, he's wasting his munitions on the center, not wasting, but spending them. Oh god, N20 goes down! Yeah, nice pick up with the Raket in there for Love Nest, very, very good. I mean, this is the thing, Love Nest is taking his time, he hasn't made any you know, big losses yet really, other than the Stern Pioneers. There's plenty of opportunities for him to recover this, still early days. And uh, it's just, um, I, I just feel like he's holding back for something. I, I don't know what it is yet. I, I can't put a finger on what he's going to build. What is going on with the with the with the HQ truck here? He's trying to truck push Nagano off. <laughs> it bites the dust on that as well. Look at this. Nagano is so heavy in. So that's a, uh, you know, he lost an M20, but taking a HQ truck is a, is a lot bigger for a loss. Yeah, I mean, it was a big loss for him. It's going to stop any kind of teching other than the Jagdpanzer IV now. So, I mean, he doesn't really have any of those options available to him. Maybe he's just going to consider going for a couple of Rakettans and more infantry. I don't know. Stuart's on the field now in the centre, just by the church. Yeah, that's been out for a couple of oh, minutes sorry. now. Yes, he's been sat there. I don't know why. Maybe uh, Nagano feared the uh, Rakettan. What's this that's coming down? We've got the... Uh, oh, my word. We've got uh, White Phosphor Smoke Barrage coming down in. On the, on the medic <laughs> Not looking good for Loveness right now. I'm really impressed with Nagano's play here. He's been all over Loveness in all these engagements. The pressure is on consistently. Loveness having very, very good anti-tank play. You know, the Rakettans are constantly in the right line of sight, uh, putting a lot of pressure on the Stuart. And obviously we've seen the M20 go down already. So maybe, you know, maybe Loveness is going to be able to survive with these pack howitzers now coming on the field from the Ghana. This is going to put an insane amount of pressure on this fortified area from Loveness. Uh, I'm just getting the feeling now that Loveness is completely boxed in. Absolutely. Um, the pack howitzer is a really good choice from Nagano, considering that, as you said, Loveness has been entirely focused in what you would say in German is a Kessel, which is, you know, a military term for a very small area, like pockets of resistance almost. It's, uh... What's this that just got done? Is that an incendiary grenade on there? Unfortunately, it gets out on time. <laughs> Triple yeah. bed squad there. I'd hate to see that go down. This is just crazy. The manpower. Look at the manpower for Love Nest. It's constantly harassed by Nagano. Everything he's doing, he's just having to reinforce it straight away. Like all of those munitions for Love Nest have been going into these G43s with the intent of just trying to suppress the amount of effect the flamethrowers are having when they rush up to him. Absolutely, and it's just typical in the West, he tries to push down just to get the VP for one second and two highly vetted uh, flamethrower riflemen sweep straight in and push him off. 
Yeah, that's one thing actually that has uh, gone in favour of Nagano. Oh, look at so Loveness, yeah. Lost the squad there. And is he going to lose the Stern Pioneers as well here? I just... This is crazy. I'm kind of speechless about this from Loveness. That I, I don't think the build order has been particularly strong from him. Maybe he felt he had a bit more, uh, you know, a bit of a longer mid game. Loveness has surrendered. Oh. Dude, I'm telling you, Nagano is a beast. He's he is feared. He has always been a feared player in one v one circles. I, I mean, I don't know why he has not so, had such a presence in Co two. But I've always I look to look at the name Nagano and like think, holy shit, Nagano. You know, it's not sorry for swearing, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I, he's a good player. Like I hands down, you know, I've played against him before myself and have been trash. And it, you know, he he's a very very good player. But I uh, you know I hadn't seen this side to him. Uh, mm, yeah, in, until I really yeah. cast one of his games recently and then I was like wow this guy is really good and you know the, <laughs> the, there is no um, th there's no abuse again he's you know I, I kind of have the same impression of him as I do of Love Nest is he's just a, a standardly good player you know there's there's no abuse of units or anything his build order's been good he's kept within his means you know he's had spare manpower floating around for a lot of the time he hasn't needed to use it for anything mm. um I kind of feel bad for Loveness. He had a sound strategy on this map with the battle grouper, trying to take, you know, the keep hold of his fuel and, and reinforce the the midpoint. But um, he he just had no chance when those flamethrowers. Why came did up. Loveness not play Wehrmacht with his? He usually uses uh, MGs and two snipers. That's how Loveness. I mean, he is good at OKW. Don't get me wrong, but they're not the strongest one v one faction. In fact, they're the weakest if you look at statistics. So uh, he could have crowd controlled the uh, rifleman a lot better with uh, manpower bleed and you know snipers. I mean, it's not for me to criticise the great love nest, but I am criticising him. Yeah, you know, he should have gone for Ver, in my opinion. It's a, uh, yeah. I mean, against USF, maybe there's some you know some kind of advantage that they really get there. But it's 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 just strange. I mean, really. <sighs> I don't know what the battle. I, I guess I understand why the battle grouper was built. It, it's a shame it didn't pay off for him. It didn't pay off for him because what he ended up doing is actually spending a lot more manpower. <laughs> Do you know what he I mean? Did. Than, uh, than he could actually uh, afford, really. But you can't spend manpower unless your troops are dead. So they definitely did have to be killed. <laughs> and so um, as, as as you said, it, you know, he he did a pretty sound strategy. He was unlucky, but as I say, I think, in my opinion, it's more Nagano playing extremely well.